Hi folks, I want to discuss the issue of blunt cannula versus sharp cannula injection for facial injections of dermal fillers. I have videos of both. I've got plenty of videos of sharp injections with the traditional needles as well as blunt cannula injections. Now the blunt cannula has become a really uh, popular topic online and people assume that if they're going to come in to see me or my partner that we're going to use the blunt cannula. And the fact is blunt cannula has severe limitations in multiple aspects. One thing is with a sharp cannula, with a sharp needle actually, the injection can be precise into the exact location. You can do it in multiple layers. You can go right underneath the skin very superficially or you can go right deep down on top of the bone. And it's a very precise type of injection. It's more of a vertical injection. With a blunt cannula, it's not a vertical injection. It's more of a horizontal injection. And you don't know exactly precisely where the tip of the cannula is and it's more of a diffuse um, spraying, if you will, of the filler versus a precise droplet placement. So there is risks and benefits to both. The risks of bruising are minimized with blunt cannula, but sometimes for the best results, you do accept a little bit of bruising for uh, the better results with the sharp injections. But in some patients, the sharp injection actually is not a good idea and blunt cannula works better. So, and it also depends on the location of the face. So I want you to know that just because you come in to see your plastic surgeon, it doesn't mean they're gonna use a blunt cannula or that the blunt cannula will be better. You have to let your surgeon decide for you and decide with you, and you can come up with a decision together about bruising versus results versus other risks. So don't buy all the hype, don't buy the marketing. Blunt cannula is not uh, the answer for everything, but it does have its time and place. Thank you.